your platform uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to identify unconscious bias. Now that's a very nuanced and challenging yeah. thing to identify. How does this exactly work? So it's their data, our algorithms. What we do is intercept HR our decisions across the five pillars of talent. So uh, hiring, pay, performance, potential, and promotion. We make recommendations about decisions that they can make and then track their decisions over time. So what type of companies are you targeting then? Fortune 500s? Yeah, we target enterprise companies. So certainly the Fortune 500 is in our target and really companies that have 10,000 or more employees that are committed to gender equity. Uh, typically they've made some sort of public com commitment, either a pledge or, or another forward-looking statement. And what has your data shown so far? Uh, can you prove just how much money companies are leaving off the table when they don't address this issue. Yeah, actually we can. So we started with a research study and what we, we across 4,000 companies in 29 countries, and what we found was that for every 10% increase in gender equity toward parity, so toward 50-50, there's a 1% to 2% increase in revenue. And have your companies been able to directly tie those links? They've been able to show, um, yeah, they've been able to show a connection between closing the gender equity gap and actually increased revenue. Now, since starting the company, have you been able to identify the key areas where companies struggle the most? I mean, you mentioned mm -hmm. it could be at the hiring level, in terms of pay, promotion. One of the core things that we see is that inter it's the internal mobility of talent, right? So you might see that uh, the, the women make up the majority of individual contributors in an organization organization, but they don't make it to the top, right? So we know, for instance, year over year, the number of Fortune, female Fortune 500 CEOs has gone down from 32 to 24. And that's, that is because women actually don't make it up the pipeline. So they don't, they're not promoted at the same rate. They are not developed at the same rate. So we actually manage all of those decisions and how you're going to invest in your talent. So what are some of the actions that you can provide them on this platform? So we can provide them, for instance, if, if if a company posts a job requisition in their HR platform, we will actually send them a slate of internal candidates that can fill that position. And each of those candidates has a pipeline score. And that is related to that, that uh, candidate's gender and skill set. And the gender and skill set make up of the team that they would be joining. Um, so that's one example. When they're making pay, rec pay uh, decisions, we also inform that. So it's been a year of reckoning in Silicon Valley, yeah. in the country at large, when it comes to gender equality, the Me Too movement. Has this sentiment caused more large companies to approach you guys? I think it's elevated the conversation. I think that what the Me Too movement has done is to share more stories, uh, you know, share, you know, and, and, sh and bring more voices to the table. And what we also know is that people want a plan of action, right? They want a clear way. How can you mention the World Economic Forum and that it'll take over 200 years for us to reach gender equity? We've actually added 47 years in the last year, so we're going backward. We're not going forward. And what people want is a really clear path to achieve gender equity and that's what we give them with every single decision that they make about their talent. What's interesting is that you're using AI to combat unconscious bias but a lot of the concern in the research community is that unconscious yeah. bias is written into the algorithms. <laughs> How do you reconcile that? So so what we know is that if you're aware of it, right, so some of the talk about AI and programming biases into the algorithms is who is actually programming them, right? So if you're not aware of it, then you end up actually programming the unconscious bias into the AI. So being aware of it, you can actually circumvent that.